Got an abandoned Land Rover outside. Four flat tires. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video, another exploration. Today we're in a huge mansion. This is a $10 million mansion, basically of tragedy. Family was living here. Doctor had his son. He even had a pilot license. They went out for a flight and they never returned, unfortunately. The plane crashed, killed his father, killed the son, and the house just fell into disarray. They were beginning to start this giant pool room that we're in right now, but it was never completed. We're here, this is our first room we're gonna be checking out. There's so much left behind here, and we're just gonna explore, document, and see what's left. So far, so good. If you guys enjoy, leave a thumbs up, and let's not waste any more time. Let's go explore. So this was the jacuzzi that they were gonna make here. And this is the pool. So much moss and overgrowth. The pool turned into a greenhouse. Pretty amazing room, even though it's unfinished. But just wanted to check this one out first. Let's go see the mansion. Okay, we just entered the house, and oh my god, do I, will I tell you, this is probably the most amazing mansion I've ever seen with my own eyes. At least a modern mansion. I forgot to tell you that this place was built in 2006 and abandoned in 2016, but everything is still here. The mother of the husband and the son who passed away couldn't afford this house. It was originally listed at $10 million, and it was recently lowered to about $6 million. And this is the front lobby. These stairs are magnificent. We're gonna start the video here. I'm gonna give you guys the full tour and hopefully I cover everything as good as I can because there's so much detail and great architecture put into this place. It's truly a shame that it's sitting here the way it is, but let's go. This is the magnificent staircase here. You could really see how much money the family had. Got the details. So we're gonna cover the first floor first. And I've noticed so far, we have two Christmas trees left here in this house. So maybe it was around Christmas time when this place went abandoned, sadly enough. Here we got the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Wow. Look at this living room, it's ridiculous. You even have the secondary staircase here, just as beautiful as the as the main one. You got some dog cages. Tis the season. Definitely had some animals come in here at one point. You could definitely smell the feces and you could see where animals were running around on top. I hope, maybe hopefully it wasn't those dogs. That would be really sad. But take a look at the dining room here. Got a seven seat table.
that's the audio remote. Oh, what? You turned the TV on? TV's on, but there's no cable. <laughs> cable. There's power in some of this place. Oh, yeah. Those are old. Those are really old Verizon cable boxes in there. Mm, yeah. You any video games? <laughs> I haven't seen any, surprisingly. Let's take a look in the kitchen. It smells really bad in here. So I guarantee, what the heck? It's fake. That's really weird. Yeah, it's like a BB gun. This is a funny little find in the in the kitchen here. Wii remote. I remember the when these came out, everybody wanted them, and now I feel like they're just obsolete. No one has them anymore. Or maybe they do. I don't know. If anybody's still Wii bowling, let me know in the comments. You still have all the plates. Still hanging up here. All pretty neatly organized. Got some grimy silverware. Everything. What are these? Polish. Oh, look at all the feces from the animals in here in the sink. At least they're pooping in the sink and on the floor. Look at the detail right here above the stove. Everything. Everything left behind here. It's really sad what happened to the family. But you can't help but think, why was everything left behind here? People rather buy a property, knock it down, and rebuild. I think this is the refrigerator, so... Mm, you still got some water. Unopened water. Doesn't smell or anything. At least they took the food. Oh. Oh god, that smells so bad. <coughs> ah. My eye, my eyes are watering from that. That was bad. Always gotta check the fridge though. This is a cool room. Giant arch window. You have a nice echo in here as well. This could have been like a study room, quiet room. Wow, the fireplace is magnificent. I love the different layers of pillars right above the fireplace as well. The ceilings have to be at least 30 feet tall. What a beautiful place. Check out this room on the other side of the staircase. Got a couch, a couple chairs, and another fireplace. Artificial fireplaces, I must add. Got some slippers as well. PP or QP, not sure which one. These are really nice. The woodwork in this room is amazing. 
Also have this cabinet here, it's pretty nice. Empty. I love that curve here. Look at the woodwork in here. Now this is an office. Beautiful design on the ceilings. This is a little weird. Little rabbit in here, or not so little. Got some literature in here. And that amazing clock. Look at that thing right there sitting along with that statue. Shout out to author Daniel Steele. Not sure who you are, but this family loved you and your work. And that being said, we're gonna walk out of the office here. Beautiful office, beautiful woodwork. I mean, I would love to edit my videos in this room. And we're gonna head now into the master bedroom here. Maybe it's the master bedroom. First floor bedroom, at least. Wow. Okay, this is definitely master bedroom. Look at this closet. So many clothes still left here. Everything. The place looks like it was ransacked. Look at this. You have Forever 21 stuff with the tags still on it. I mean, most of these things have the tags. Still, these are brand new clothes. I mean, this place was abandoned in 2016, so... None of this stuff is really moldy or decrepit just yet. Wow. Tripping over so much stuff here. I mean, this place is filled. Look at all these clothes! This is all, these are all women's clothes, so this is one woman's, probably the wife, her closet. Her alone. I mean, her whole wardrobe is in here. Oh, God, that's underwear. I don't really want to be in that drawer. Is this all underwear? Stuff related to it. Yeah, Calvin Klein. Everything has the tag on it still. I don't get it. It's like they bought so many clothes but never warm. Everything. Everything has the tag. 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 So strange. Okay. That's enough going around the panty draw. Oh, God. So the bedroom's right over here. But I have to show you guys the, the bathroom. Got a sink on this side. You got another sink over here. And the products and makeup. This has to be one of the most craziest mansions that was left behind with everything left in it. This tub is amazing. That's really the only bit of decay I've seen so far. You got the paint chipping. You probably have a water leak up above coming through the cracks. Take a look in the shower, which has all the shampoo still left. And body wash. Joe Malone. Wow, look at that. You could even control temperature digitally. I mean, I'm poor compared to this house, so I've never seen anything this fancy. I was looking around so much, I almost missed the chandelier here in the bathroom as well. This bedroom is remarkable. I love this little inside section here. 
I mean, that TV size is a little bit too small for the bed to be all the way over there, but this bedroom is remarkable. Got some Chanel bags over here. You got the receipt still in there too. It was a gift. There's a there's a name in here too. But I'm gonna keep that all private because just out of respect for the family. I mean, I'm already inside this house. I mean no disrespect by being here. I'm just here to document what's left behind. Just take photos and just leave footprints. That's the motto. Wow. Now this phone is, this phone is pretty outdated. Panasonic Digital. So that's weird to see in this house. No dial tone. Actually, a little bit. I hear a little static on the other end. Also in the bedroom, you have this 15-foot arched window. Bringing so much natural light into this home. That's one thing I can appreciate about it. <laughs> Along with everything else here. Like the pillar design here. This place costs so much money to make. All for nothing, really, ultimately. Tragedy happens, and you can't bring anything into the afterlife that you've gathered while here. It's very sad, but exploring is also a humbling experience for me. It's helped me realize not to take things so seriously because when everything's over, nothing you've really done here, physically, at least, can be taken with you. We're gonna head upstairs now and we're gonna see what that has to offer. But so far, this place is remarkable. I opened the nightstand and this is something that dates the house. You have this old uh, iPod charger, I think. It's been so long since I've seen one. I don't even, I'm not even positive on that. Does your neck hurt? What about your back? Are you sleep deprived? Chances are you probably need a new mattress. Most of us do. And I did also. That's when Helix reached out to me and they sent me this brand new mattress. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. How do you order a Helix Sleep mattress? Helix made a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preference to match the perfect mattress for you. I took the test. And based on my results, I was matched with the Helix Midnight Lux. I also upgraded to the cooling cover, so on the hottest of nights, my bed is also nice and cool. I was given this mattress mainly because I'm a side sleeper and it would fit my needs perfectly. I've had my Helix mattress a year now and I can confidently say I've had the best night's sleep I've ever had. You could actually hear the air filling the mattress once you unwrap it. Sleeping soundly and resting perfectly for all my explorers. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and there are also financial options and flexible payment plans. I love my Helix and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash dark exploration to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. All right, it's time to go upstairs, this beautiful, beautiful staircase. See what else this place has to offer us. I can't imagine living in a place like this. Wow, the view of this big room is even better from up here. I'm really just embracing 
this whole mansion here. Let's take a look at some of these bedrooms. This one's pink. Oh, ho, ho, we got a... Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness, all the sneaker boxes. And we have so much left behind. This was definitely the kids. This was the kids, the 15-year-old kid. This, oh my goodness. There's so many sneakers, and they're all brand new, pretty much. Look at these. Look at these Jordans. I think these are the 13s. You got the South Beach LeBrons, I think. I think, if my shoe knowledge is correct. And I saw these. These are... Denver Nuggets basketball shorts. Authentic team apparel. Denver Nuggets, 36. Damn. These are huge. These might be game worn though if it says authentic team. Authentic team apparel. These are old school too. Damn, there's so much to look at here. Now these sneakers. I'm not that much of a fan of, but hey, I appreciate them. All these are brand new. I mean, it proves when you have money. Does it really buy you happiness? Because this person had a bunch of shoes. Look at these, are these Uggs? Yeah, look at these Uggs. All these shoes are brand new. These people bought all these, all this new stuff just to never wear it. And then what ended up happening is a tragedy. Pretty empty room otherwise, but the bed is just laid out with so many more different sneakers. Here's the other pair. These look like kids' shoes. They're very small. Got some more Jordans. See what the bathroom looks like in here. Wow, I love that sink. Never know if it works. Nice shower too. Wow, it hasn't been open in a long time. It smells like it hasn't either, but I love all the designs on here, like the purple, green. Yeah, it smells terrible in here. I gotta I gotta walk out. Okay, so this, this bedroom looks like it was stripped of everything inside. Not much here. It did have a balcony though. Looks like they removed the actual bars or the banister that was here. Not much of a view, we just have other, other mansions around here. But we do have a walk-in closet and a bathroom. Wow, this is trippy. I feel like I'm in a fun house with all the mirrors. Let's open some of these. Empty. Weird how some of the rooms are empty and some of them are just packed. But this is a nice his and her bathroom. Another jacuzzi hot tub and a walk-in shower. So there was only two bedrooms on that side of the mansion. I failed to tell you guys before, but this was this is in total an 11 room mansion. I think it's like nine and a half bathrooms as well. Pretty much a bathroom for every bedroom, but we got some more to check out over here. Locked.
lot of people lived in this house, so they had two bedrooms and one. Could have been a guest room though. It has its own walk-in closet of its own. And of course, its own bathroom with another jacuzzi. I think that makes three that we've seen so far. This looks like it was newly renovated. It still has, or painted at least, it has all the tape still around. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the most decay I've seen. Got a complete collapse here. And the bathroom does have another jacuzzi, hot tub, bathtub, walk-in shower, and just one sink. And we actually have some more clothes left behind in this closet here too. Got some knee-high boots. I mean, I'm just smelling this room and it smells like a department store, like the chemicals they spray on the clothes. It just smells like that still. Like all of these probably have not been worn much. Cause this, I mean, there's still tags. There's still tags on these, all of them. Like you just buying them to buy them and never wear them. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, the rich are going to do what the rich is going to do, but so we got, I guess we got some business casual women wear in here. We got some like corporate looking pants, some suit jackets. So much stuff. It's almost overwhelming. I got so many boots. I mean, this all could be going to Goodwill or people who need it. This whole house. I mean, you could literally clothe an entire community of people with the clothes in this house quick little view of the living room. I love this room so much. Crazy that the Christmas tree is still here. I've never been in a, an abandoned house that has the Christmas tree up. Got ornaments on it as well. And we have a little bathroom or washroom here. Yep, washroom. Look, they even still have either dirty or clean stuff. Probably dirty now. It's still inside the washer. So we pretty much just checked out the whole second floor. I think there was, what, one, two, three, four bedrooms we were able to get inside of. There was maybe one that we weren't. It was locked. But we're going to head upstairs, third floor. Not sure if this is just an attic or if there's more bedrooms up there, but we're going to go find out. Oh wow, this is some nice lighting in here. Another bedroom. Storage. It's so cool. Got some purple furniture here. Pretty nice, pretty fancy. Looks comfortable, but dirty. This is so strange. You have like a random sink in the middle of this hallway. And another bathroom. This one, it's still fancy, but it's nothing like the others. Oh wow, okay, so this is like a little kitchen setup too. Oh my God, it still works. Turn that off. I didn't know there was power here. No water though. Yeah, so it looks like they're redoing this top floor right before they sadly passed away. And this is a creepy room. A completely empty room with a plugged in phone. 
I swear, if this phone starts ringing right now, I'm gonna freak out. Look at this view. Leaving the third floor, you can see all the way down. This place has a basement too, I didn't even realize that. But yeah, we're done filming, at least the main floor is here. An absolute tragedy what happened here, but this house is so beautiful. I just can't believe it's never been sold or lived in or anything. I also can't blame the wife for not wanting to come back to the house that all their belongings are in. I couldn't even go into my own home if that was the case with the tragedy, like what happened. And looks like I missed some rooms over here on the first floor, so we're gonna have to check these out as well. The Christmas gift paper. Still here, in the garbage. That's so sad. That's so sad. Got a storage closet. MacBook Pro. Not in there, obviously. Another bathroom. And this might be the last bedroom we explore here. This is a pretty nice one though. I like this little round corner seat it looks really comfortable I don't want to sit on it though because animals might have been pissing and just <laughs> desecrating all over this thing I don't want to sit on that really but old TV nice king-size bed another one of those old Panasonic phones that I don't understand house this nice with all the clothes and designer stuff you just have all these old phones super outdated got more clothes in here tag still on and this is probably the second best bathroom, perhaps, that I've seen. No mirror. Don't know if that's a design flaw, they just didn't have one. I mean, you have plenty over here, but I'm used to seeing myself when I brush my teeth. We have like a whole bar, basically. We have so much alcohol left in here. There's different wines and a bunch of stuff just aging in here. Damn, these, these drawers haven't been opened in a really long time, but there's nothing really cool in here besides the alcohol. These cups from Germany are pretty cool, though. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, guys, it's basement time. Always the creepiest part of any abandoned house for some reason. Oh, okay. This is actually where the entrance of the pool would have been but it goes further down. I hear like a weird alarm happening in the garage, so it's making me not want to go in there. But, I don't know. Christmas decorations. Wow, this whole basement is just not done. Definitely have to find a way into the garage though. I don't know how to get in there. Maybe it's through here somewhere. No, it stinks in here. Oh, shit. No, I don't know, it just smells really bad. I think this is the entrance to... Oh, I found a little secret staircase. Oh, I found the garage. Oh, we got some cars in here. Yeah, we got a Volkswagen and a and a Mercedes, convertible Mercedes. Wow. Look at this car. It's like super. It looks like it just got a car wash. It's been in here so preserved. The detail was definitely hers. Look at it. The interior is is like remarkable clean. Remarkably. See, see if you can find the keys. Should I honk the horn? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Neighbors are pretty close. Yeah. Let's take a look at this Mercedes. Wow. Tires are so hot. 
I don't want to try opening the door and the alarm goes off because the door is locked. Wow. They even left cars behind, like a Mercedes Benz. I didn't see the staircase before. But let's see where this thing goes. You can see that little fancy dog eating trays. Got a whole other kitchen in here. Closet and a bathroom. Really small, I mean, it's just a, just a kitchen and a bathroom. Not much space up here, but unique little room. I do like the stripes. If this is your first video of mine that you're watching, hopefully it convinces you to watch some more. I love traveling the country, exploring, learning about history. If it's unknown, super known, it doesn't matter. I love it. And this is just another one, another part of the, the big plan that is uh, just my channel and documenting places, leaving a digital footprint of some of these locations before they're just knocked down because that's pretty much all America is now. Knock down the old, really amazing architecture and build up modern office type, cheaply made stuff. Nothing has hard anymore and this place has a lot of it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, stay curious, and have a good day.